I would never have imagined the day turning out this way. God, what a piece of work. Should have worn waterproof mascara. Should have taken that Xanax my mom offered me. Maybe that would have lessened the blow. Best day of my life, huh? Not quite. I waited my whole life to have the perfect wedding and the perfect dress to the perfect guy. Well, they always say, two out of three ain't bad. A mother... What makes two people perfect for each other? I thought I knew. My mother always said, it's when two people suit each other. What does that even mean anyway? I suppose it all depends on what fate wills it to be. If it makes you feel any better, I don't think the guests are gonna really remember anything. They're a little tipsy. Like everyone's gonna forget the sight of my new husband stumbling out of the ladies room with the coat check girl trailing right behind. What a way to end a six year relationship. And you know, it'd be really great if my maid of honor were here to console me right now, but that would be impossible considering she was asked to leave just after full Frenching my dad. Don't know if you saw that one. You know, I, I should have known better than to ever be friends with a girl named Natasha. I never really could trust her. But listen, the, the music was great, so thank you for that. My pleasure. Hey, you know what? I've got this event playing up the street. I think it's just what you need. Like, like this? Don't worry, you'll fit right in. And you'll need this. This is some kind of a sick joke. Why the hell would I want to go back there? You can trust me. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's go. Really? Yes. Okay. You gonna tell me this is a time machine? No. It's my car. Natasha. So, can I buy your next round? Oh, she's good, she's good. You're good, right? Yeah, I'm good. She likes apple teenies. Life doesn't always go just as you planned, but sometimes fate leads you to an unexpected place. And it's up to you to make things perfect. Mm -hmm.